Painted in 1835, Camille Corot's Hagar in the Wilderness blends elements of several artistic movements. In the 19th century, France was going through various changes in politics and society, and in turn, French art was transitioning between styles. The three most prominent styles at this time were Neoclassicism, Romanticism, and the Barbizon School, and Corot combined each of these movements to create Hagar in the Wilderness. In order to fully understand and appreciate this work, the elements of each style that are present in it must be examined and applied to the narrative it depicts. In the style of Neoclassicism, Corot used clean, controlled brushstrokes to create a precise depiction of the landscape and figures, implying that he chose to do a careful drawing of the scene, rather than freely painting it. This brushstroke style is most evident in the clean depiction of the plants and the exact detailing in Hagar and Ishmael's clothes. Corot does not show much painterly effect in Hagar in the Wilderness, probably because he painted it with the goal of showing it at a Paris salon, one of the main focuses for painters of the Barbizon school. The large tree in the left mid-ground of the painting is actually based on the trees in the forest of Fontainebleau, a popular landscape subject in Barbizon school paintings. In Hagar in the Wilderness, Corot also used elements of Romanticism. The narrative of the scene places the insignificance of humanity amidst the vast power and beauty of the natural landscape. Without the appearance of the miraculous angel in the upper middle of the painting, Hagar and Ishmael would be completely at the mercy of nature, and would most likely perish. Corot used strong, deep colors to enhance the emotion and power of the scene, and to emphasize the important weight placed on the narrative, as it is from the Bible. For instance, the landscape is made up of dark browns and golds, deep tans, and varying shades of dark green, along with the saturated periwinkle and light teal colors of the sky. Hagar and Ishmael stand out in their contrasting outfits, Hagar in black and dark blue, and Ishmael in white. Corot uses darkness in the foreground and light in the background to show the contrast between Hagar and Ishmael's situation before the angel arrives and their situation after God saves them. The tone of the painting is dramatic, and the figures are quite expressive of emotion, which is characteristic of romantic art. Overall, the style of this painting, in combination with the narrative moment it depicts, creates a dark, melancholic undertone, with a tinge of light and hope inspired by the faint figure of the angel approaching in the distance.